Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of computing the Smith normal form of a matrix. Let's consider the matrix A, which is 1, negative 1, 1, and then 2, negative 2, 2. Of course, we see the first row and the second rows are multiples of each other, right? Then A has Smith normal form. One, zero, 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 like so. That's gonna be the Smith normal formula. So let's prove this, okay? So the first step, of course, A is a what? A is a two by three matrix over here. So I need to first perform row operations. My goal, of course, is to construct matrices. So I would like to write A, I'd like to write one, zero, 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 one. The Smith normal form as a matrix U times A times a matrix V. This matrix U is gonna be a two by two matrix over here, invertible. This matrix A is gonna be what we have over here, and this V is gonna be a three by three matrix over here. And then U and V are invertible, invertible. Okay? Of course, the rank of A is equal to one here, right? Nope, but the rank of A is equal to one. Okay, excellent. All right, so let's do it. So we're first gonna do the reduce row echelon form of the matrix A, right? So let's do so. So I'm going to augment A, and so here's, of course, the first phase. We're always going to augment with the first entry, the first to the number of rows identity. So I'm going to do a 1, negative 1, 1, 1, 2, negative 2, 2, and I'm going to augment with the 2 by 2 identity. So 1, 0, 0, 1. That's the first phase. So this phase goes right over here. That's a 2 by 2 identity, right? And so now, of course, I'm going to do negative 2, row 1, plus row 2. And so this is going to change into what? This is going to change into 1, negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, as exactly as we expect. And then over here, the matrix becomes a 1, 0, negative 2, 1, okay? And now this gives us our matrix U. So this tells me that my matrix U is going to be the invertible matrix 1, 0, negative 2, 1, of course. And this is clearly invertible. That's great. Okay. And now this is my matrix over here. This is going to be my reduced row echelon form matrix over here, R, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take next, I'm going to take R transpose. So take R transpose and augment... with, what are we going to augment with? We're going to augment with the identity on three-dimensional space. So this is the column comport component of this thing over here. So let's do that. If we do this augmentation, what are we going to get? If we do this augmentation, we're going to have what? We're going to have a 1, negative 1, 1, and then a 0, 0, 0. And I got augment with a 3 by 3 matrix over here, the 3 by 3 identity, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, great. And now, of course, this is going to be straightforward to do because I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this into a 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, which is the transpose of my Smith normal form over here. Great. And then, of course, I have to augment this with 1. So how did I get to that form over there? Let's think about what we did over there. I really did row 1 plus row 2, negative row 1 plus row 3, right? So we did row 1. So row 1 is going to stay the same. I did row 1 plus row 2, so I get a 1, 1, 0 over there. I did negative row 1 plus row 3. And I get this thing over here. Now, this, of course, is going to be the transpose. I'm changing the rows, and I really want to change the columns over here because since V is operating on the other side over here, I want to operate on the columns. So that's a column operation over there. And I've done what operations over here? I've done row operations over here, right? So I need to transpose this matrix over here. So that the this is going to be my V transpose, V transpose over here. So this tells me over here that the matrix V is going to be what? I'm going to transpose this and get a 1, 1, negative 1, and then a 0, 1, 0 for that next row, 0, 1, 0, and then a 0, 0, 1, like so. So I've just transposed the matrix and get that. That's my V. And so now I have my decomposition of the matrix A, right? So in other words, let's look at see, and see what we get when we do these operations in sequence. So if I do these operations in sequence, what are we going to get? So I have my U, that's a 2 by 2 invertible, and my V, that's also invertible over here, right? That's a 3 by 3, 2 by 2 invertible. 3 by 3 invertible. And so now, of course, what do we claim? We claim what? We claim that 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. That's the Smith normal form. Is going to be what? Is going to be A. It's going to be U. My U is going to be a 1, 0, negative 2, 1. And then my matrix A over here, which is going to be a 1, negative 1, 1, and then 2, negative 2, 2. That's my matrix A. And my matrix V over here. So I'm going to get a 1, 1, negative 1, 
zero, one, zero, and then what? And then a zero, zero, one. So let's check this over here. So let's check, I'm gonna have a one, zero, negative two, one. Great. And what happens when I do this matrix over here? So this is really a what? This is really a two by three matrix, and this is a three by three matrix. So we're gonna get an out, a two by three matrix output over here. So what matrix are we gonna get? The first entry over here is going to be a one. Then we're gonna get a what? Then we're gonna get a one and a negative one that gives me a zero, right? So that gives me a zero over here. And let's see what we get over here. We're gonna get a one, a nothing, and a one. So that's gonna give me a, uh, sorry, a negative one, a zero, and a one. That gives me another zero over here. Let's check over here. We're gonna get a two down over here, right? And then a two and a negative two gives me zero. And then a negative two and a two gives me zero. So I get a zero and a zero over here. Now this is a two by two matrix over here. And this is a two by three matrix over here. So we're gonna output a three, uh, two by three matrix. And what is that two by three matrix gonna be? Let's check. I'm gonna get a one and then a zero, then a zero. Then I'm gonna get a what? I'm gonna get a zero down over here because I have a negative two and then a positive two that gives me a zero, a zero and a zero. And indeed, we see that we exactly get the same form over here. So in other words, this decomposition, so one, zero, 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 zero is the Smith normal form, and that's equal to a matrix U, a verbal matrix U, two by two, my original matrix A, which is rank one, and then my three by three matrix V, which is in the verbal matrix over here. And of course, the rank of this matrix over here is equal to one, and the rank of this matrix is clearly equal to one. So in other words, we have the normal form of a rank one matrix in this, of a two by three rank one matrix in this form over here. And furthermore, we know that any rank one matrix will have the same Smith normal, uh, any rank one matrix has a two by three form of the same Smith normal form. In other words, equivalent matrices are characterized by this, this factorization, and this factorization uniquely determines the rank of an M by N matrix in general. So the procedure is as follows. You take your matrix A, you put it into reduced row echelon form, that will give you your matrix U, in other words, the sequence of operations that you need to get to reduced row echelon form. Once you have the matrix U, you take the transpose of the reduced row echelon form and you augment it with the N dimensional identity. You perform row operations and then you transpose the result to get the column operations which you need to do on the right hand side of the matrix factorization to get your Smith normal form. Thank you very much.